Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel for Anybrick and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the used set in the little short you have just seen. By the way, a longer version of this short will be linked. But let's start from the beginning. This is the packaging. This is an official set by a company called Funhole with the ID FH9003 called the Ocean Adventure Ship with about 820 pieces. It was provided to me for free so I can show it and do a review. The company's USP is the fully integrated modular LED lighting system. The box is durable, feels good and can be opened. And again be closed securely. A printed instruction with building step separation. For each building section there is a large numbered bag which contains the smaller bags with the bricks. The larger panels are additionally put into their own small bags. This prevents the large transparent surfaces from being scratched. Unfortunately, this and the double packaging in bags creates a lot of packaging waste. These are for bricks, while the black and red ones are for electric parts. One brick separator, one tweezers and one battery box. Batteries not included. You need three, slide it to open. Neither print nor sticker in this set. If you would read the instruction carefully, among other things, you would get to know a story explanation and several do's and don'ts for the electric parts. Each building step has an overview with the bricks to be used. New pieces are marked with a red border in the image. Previous construction steps are neither grayed out nor faded, which leads to surging, especially in the blue wave landscape. The set consists of simple building techniques. The number of bricks per building step is balanced. The construction is not very repetitive. If you call a 32 by 16 starts different waves, diverse. The only thing that is difficult is to install the lighting from below at sea level and then to bring it onto the panels from above. The panels move sideways and you can't reach them with your fingers to bring them into the right position. In my opinion an additional level of narrow plates or tiles would have been perfect for fixing the panels in place. This would also have made it possible to insert an additional module level. The quality of the bricks is extremely good with a high clamping force. I didn't notice any color variations although the wave design would have forgiven that. I didn't have a single casting error, no part was missing and there are even a few spare parts left. Particularly notable are some technical elements in TransClear and TransBlue, as well as many plates and panels in TransLight Blue. The set is 27 by 13 by 20 centimeters and I do not have taken the battery box into account. At the upper section you can see a detailed wavy landscape with a boat, tentacles, a lighthouse and a moon in orange. The lower section looks more like an aquarium which contains many animals and is beautiful lit. But the fact that there is zero built landscape underwater, especially when there is an island or pillars on top, is quite strange. Whether intended or not, from my point of view this set has definitely Cthulhu wipes. The power cables are simply placed under any bricks. This makes the bricks a little bit twisted and uneven and you get the impression that it doesn't fit well in certain areas. When assembling make sure that you don't put too much pressure on the fine cables, otherwise the brick edges might cut the cables like a sharp knife. This happened to me when I was dismantling and reassembling the parts at this point, where you can currently see the solder joint. Especially here on the boat where smaller bricks lay in a single layer over the cables, it quickly becomes messy. I would really like to see cable management integrated into the set design. Unfortunately the battery box is not hidden in this set, it just lies next to it. The cable connectors are extremely small and therefore difficult to plug in, 
without the included tweezers, I would have been afraid of breaking some parts. But the LEDs integrated into the bricks are awesome, bright and well integrated. I was in particular impressed by the light tubes, although I was very skeptical at the beginning about their intensity. You can also power the LEDs with an USB cable and a cell phone charger. This allows you to add a timer, which can be very cool, especially for showcases. The only modular part of the set is the boat, which can be removed or attached. This is a pity, because only one pair of electricity pickups is included. And it's very practical and super reusable. The figure doesn't fit anywhere, probably because it seems that the boat is not built on a minifigure scale, but just a tiny little bit smaller. The minifigure that was shown at the beginning doesn't belong to this set and was added especially for the stop motion part. You simply can't get to the underwater part for animating, because it's all built in. The waves are extremely detailed, which is unfortunately not very useful for brick filming as it is a static representation of a dynamic object. But the boat with its small decorations, the many different lights and the golden bricks is such a beauty. As it was simply placed at a slight angle on the wavy landscape, you can't touch anything without the boat wobbling around. And that's such a pity. You can quite clearly see in the linked video that the lighting via the LED from within the set is extremely atmospheric. To cut a long story short, this set as a whole is not suitable for brick filming. But it has to be said that the main target group for this set might not be brick filmers. Now let's come to my conclusion. The set is very suitable as a display if you like the topic, especially the blue to yellow contrast in the lightning from the water to the boat is very interesting. However, it is not a set that I will personally store on the shelf to have it ready to use as a brick film background. But the lighting and some of the parts, especially the translight blue panels and plates will definitely make it into future films. I'm really excited to see what sets will be released by Funhole in the future. And I hope that the lighting tube principle will make it into future sets. The amount of packaging material ensures on one hand flawless bricks, but unfortunately on the other hand an enormous amount of waste too. That's it from my side. If you're interested and want to buy a fun hole set by your own, there will be affiliate links in the video's description. I used several parts of a brick film for demonstration in this review. If you're interested, a link to the complete stop motion short is over there. I will add an additional brick film playlist all done by me down there. And if you like this content, you may follow my channel.